We're here at 41 King Street East with Walter and Peggy Cracknell of Walpeg Studios, and they have just brought in some fabulous photographs. A lot of people will look at these and they'll go, are you sure these are photographs? So uh, I'm really thrilled that uh, Walter and Peggy are going to share with us about how they do their very unique photography. Walter is going to be doing a workshop later this week, and we really look forward to that. So how did you get involved in photography? Were you always a photographer? I wouldn't say always. I got involved in high school. I got into the darkroom and uh, found that uh, I had a passion for photography and uh, it eventually turned into a full-time business, um, photographing weddings and people and some product photography. But after I closed the studio down, uh, Peggy and I, uh, still continue to do photography, but more of a traditional landscape, scenic work. And then in the last few years, we've uh, progressed into uh, something a little more abstract, uh, something that pleases us maybe more than the, the general public. We, um, we photograph rocks. Now, I can just imagine what you're thinking when I say that, but uh, if you come and look at our work or go to our, uh, our website, all of the pieces are, yes, they are real rock, but we see things inside those rocks that the average person maybe doesn't see. Uh, for instance, uh, the piece behind me we call river spirits. And uh, if you look real close, uh, you'll see faces in those rocks. Now, I'm not going to show you where they are. Drop into the Welcome Center and see if you can see the faces. But that's the sort of thing we do. Uh, we also do traditional landscapes, uh, sunrise, sunset. Uh, These are, are two gorgeous pic, uh, ones that you've brought in. The, the first one over here, uh, Morning Mist. That's and this correct. is Omimi. It is Omimi. Uh, it's just gorgeous. The, uh, the, and the lighting and the way you've uh, worked with uh, painting with light. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. And then the sec this... As another, uh, when this is Omimi sunset. Omimi sunset. Omimi sunset, and that was the other side. That's the other side, yeah, of the Omimi <laughs> swamp. Although I hate to call it that. <laughs> but uh, now I understand that you teach as well. I uh, I do uh, guest lectures at horticultures uh, societies uh, and garden societies and uh, other camera clubs. Uh, I've uh, spoken at the. Peterborough Photographic uh, Society on, uh, depending on the group that I'm talking to, uh, sometimes uh, uh, at the lower level, uh, very, very basic, or sometimes at a more advanced level, depending on the audience. Um, I have done innumerable uh, lectures on how to photograph your garden, how to photograph flowers, and the same basics apply whether you're photographing flowers or whether you're photographing people, it's, it all has to do with placement and composition. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we were speaking earlier, you mentioned about your passion of helping people realize. Exactly. I, uh, I love to teach. I taught continuing ed photography at Sir Sanford for a little while. And um, watching the light bulbs go in somebody's eyes, when they grasp a concept and, and can translate it into their camera and then onto paper, uh, that to me is the big kick out of, uh, out of teaching. And so that's, uh, that's why I do so much uh, guest speaking is because it's a form of teaching for me. And uh, it's, it, that kick is why, I, I guess, why teachers teach. I'm sure there's a number out there that, that that's the main reason they teach, is to watch that little child grab a concept and, and run with it. And you are going to be our main judge at the photography, the fish photography contest. That is correct. Uh, this week. And, and I hope we get a couple more volunteer to judge because uh, uh, one's, one's ideas sometimes, you know, can bounce off another one and we can pick the absolute best one. Mm -hmm. uh, so we really looking forward to uh, people coming in and this picture behind us be behind you here is very unique in that you encourage people to touch it that's right it's, we, we print everything on canvas because canvas gives uh, a dynamic to the image uh, it's, it almost makes it three-dimensional uh, all of the pieces are sealed 
so that uh, unless somebody deliberately pours water on them, their their archival ink and archival canvas they should last for approximately 200 years. Yeah. And I joke and say, well, if it fades before then, <laughs> come and see me, I'll reprint it. <laughs> so you'll want to make sure you come in here to 41 King East uh, and uh, register for the uh, how to photograph fish and make it a definitely a memorable ph photograph because if you're going to release that, you want to ha create that memory. That's right. And uh, the workshop will be Saturday, July the 14th at 2 p.m. Yes. Uh, the uh, registration is uh, you do receive part of your money back should you decide to enter a photograph in uh, the contest. And we are really...